Yeah, I'd like to ask a couple of questions. The first one is uh, about uh, uh, how, how do you think, is it a problem for m modern Muslims uh, to balance between everyday routine, work, rest and uh, religious duties? What do you think, in your opinion, share, share your opinion? Balance work and religious duties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, balance of work and religious duties. So what I would say is that um, we're, li we're living in a very modern world and we have a, a very different lifestyle to what our forefathers were living many years ago. And I think with the smartphone, with the technology, with the media, with social media and so on, it has, it has brought things in our lives that were never there beforehand. So what really needs to happen first is we need to look at how did the people before us live, okay? If you look in the traditional society before any of this technology came about, even before TVs, let's, just, let's go a hundred years ago, okay, when TVs were not even in, in households, people had a very set timetable. So their sleep time was, was, was set, to, let's say 10 o'clock, their wake up time was set, their work time was set, and their family time, social time was very set. It was in the evening uh, or perhaps you know, on the weekend or something, they would do, they would do whatever they wanted. So the, these times were very much in their places. In the modern world, what we need is, we need to bring some of that into, back into our lives where we set things and they are clearly in certain uh, parts of our daytime, our routine. So you would have, for example, if I said, well, my work starts from eight o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the afternoon, I need to, I need to put something for my akhirah, apart from my salah, I'm, salah I'm gonna do all day and so on, but something for my akhirah early in the morning. So maybe half an hour, 15 minutes, or one hour in the morning where it's set, that doesn't move. And in the evening, I do the exactly same thing, which is I put another hour, half an hour, 20 minutes, 50, whatever I can manage, I set it in a place where my family knows, my friends know, I know that that time is spot on. If I say nine o'clock in the evening, then nine o'clock I'm there on the musalla. Everyone in my household knows not to disturb me. My kids are asleep and, and I'm there and I'm just focusing on my akhirah for those 15, 20 minutes and I will do it religiously. Now, if people can do this, number one, which is the set time, mm -hmm. Uh, then they can create this balance between work and, and life. But if you kind of say to yourself, you know what, I'll get it done. I'll do, one day I do in the morning, one day evening, next day I miss the morning, next day I say evening, next day I miss both morning and evening. Then I said, oh, I'll do extra the following day. And then what happens is you slowly, slowly fall into a pattern of not doing it for six days in a week, seven days in a week, and then you're not doing it at all. For the akhirah, I'm talking about for the akhirah. It needs to be fixed. Now, outside the fixed time, the other times we have, let's say for example, I'm going to my work, it takes me half an hour to drive there. I'm coming back from work, half an hour to drive back. This is dead time. This time I should be doing dhikr. I should fill it up with, with something I am saying, connecting with my Lord. Uh, it could be dead time while I'm waiting for the bus. It could be dead time while I'm, while I'm walking. You know, maybe there's a, there's a walk I need to do. So if I can fill these dead times with some dhikr, some Quran, some something, then subhanallah, with your salah, of course, salah is, is all there, you know, the, the major pillars are there. Then subhanallah, you've balanced both the dunya and the akhirah.